In this video, we're going to take a look at how to do columns in Word 2013. And by columns, I'm talking about newspaper style columns, not columns within a table. That's a, a different topic. So uh, this is on the page layout tab, which I'm already on. And uh, it's on the columns button right here. There's a couple of presets we can do too. It doesn't do a live preview. Uh, so you have to click on it. We can do three columns if we want to. Um, we can do left where there's a small one on the left and a big one on the right or right which just flips it around and those are the presets and uh, this is uh, let's go back to two here and this is a command that applies to a section and uh, if your document is not divided up into sections then basically your document is one section and your formatting command to apply columns applies to the whole document which you can see has happened here the whole thing is formatted as two columns okay um, now if you want a little more control over this uh, let's undo that actually I'm gonna have to undo it several times I guess let's just do it uh, go back to one column here now if you want a little more control over your options you can go to more columns here and the columns dialog box comes up and these buttons across the top here just basically correspond to the options that we had over here on the columns button uh, you can also uh, go here and specify the number of columns. Uh, if you have more than three columns, you're going to end up with some pretty skinny columns, but that option is available. Um, you can also specify if you want a line between the columns. Uh, I'm just going to click on OK here, and uh, I've got a line in between. And uh, let's go back to columns here and choose more columns and see what some of our other options are. Uh, by default, your column, if you choose one, two, or three, if you don't choose one of these options over here, your columns are going to be equal width. Uh, if you don't want that, if you want to be able to specify it, you can do that. Uh, I'm going to leave it on equal width, but I'm going to try uh, decreasing the spacing here in between the columns, and I'm going to change it to point 0.2, and click on OK, and there, it, uh, there's a little less space between the columns, which gives me a little bit more room for my text. Uh, let's go back here again and go to columns and more columns and uh, that's uh, just about uh, everything except for this one item down here that says apply to whole document and uh, normally if your document is one section that's probably what you want to do uh, I'm going to uh, cancel out of here and I'm going to go back to columns here and I'm going to set it to one and that applies to the whole document again because my document is currently one section now I can do a couple of things here. I can go and uh, let me see where's chapter two begin. Uh, I skipped it. We'll do chapter three. That's fine. Uh, so let's say that uh, beginning right here, I want to change the format so that uh, everything from here on out is going to be two columns, but everything above it is going to be one column. Well, I can go here and I can click on columns and go to more columns. And uh, I want two columns. But I don't want to apply the whole document. I want to apply it from this point forward. So these are really the only two choices right now. This point forward and click on OK. And now if you look, actually let's go down here and let's shrink this down a little bit. OK. And now if you look at my document, uh, the first, uh, there's uh, chapter one, that blue text is started chapter two, and here's chapter three. And when you start chapter three, everything becomes two columns with a line in between. And because that is a section formatting command, the only way we can make it work is if it puts a section break in there. So uh, if we go back to 100%, and you'll see that when we said that we wanted to apply it from this point forward, the only way Word can make that happen is if it made everything from this point forward another section so it did put a section break in here and everything down here is section two and everything above it is section one everything in section one is one column everything in section two is going to be two columns uh, you can let word do that for you or you can go in and put your section breaks in there uh, beforehand and uh, if you do that then you'll get a different option uh, as a matter of fact I think if I go back up here now and go to uh, columns and uh, let's go to more columns now I'm up in section one and uh, let's say I want three columns up there see now I've got a different choice here I've got this section this point forward and whole document uh, that was not there before because when I applied that there was only one section in my entire document so that would, would have been kind of redundant so but now it's there 
and so click on OK and now I've got three columns up here in section one and I've got two columns down here in section two and because uh, on my home tab I have show hide pushed in I can see why it looks that way I can see that there's a section break in here and uh, that's why I'm allowed to do three columns up here and two columns down here so that's how columns work